In this video, let's learn how to handle delete requests in our API route. A delete request deletes a specified resource. In our case, we delete a comment by ID. Let's begin by understanding what a delete request looks like in Thunder Client. I'm going to first change the HTTP verb from patch to delete. The URL remains the same as we still need comment ID to be part of the URL. We will be deleting the comment with ID set to 4. We can clear the body JSON to avoid any confusion. It is not necessary for a delete request. If I now hit the send button, we see status 405 method not allowed. Let's go back to our API route and add a function to handle this delete request. In server.js file within the comment ID folder, I'm going to define and export a new function. The function is an async function called delete. The function receives request event as an argument. From this argument, we are going to destructure params. From params, we further destructure the comment ID. This is what is present in the URL. In the next line, we get hold of the comment object that has to be deleted using array.find method. So let me copy paste that line from before and change the constant name to deleted comment. Next, we find the index of the object using array.findIndex method. The callback function remains the same, so I'm going to copy paste. Once we have the index, we use array.splice to remove the item at the given index. At the index, we remove one item. Finally, we return a new response with the deleted comment as JSON. If we now go back to Thunder Client and hit the send button, we see 200 and the deleted comment as response. If I switch tabs to make a GET request to slash API slash comments, we see the comment with ID equal to 4 is not part of the array anymore. This is how we handle a delete request in API routes. With that, we come to the end of this section on routing in SwellKit. That was close to 20 videos, but hopefully you are now in a position to handle any type of routing pattern in your SwellKit application. Let me quickly summarize what we have learned. In this section, we have learned about file-based routing, nested routes, dynamic routes, catch-all routes, optional parameters, navigating with anchor tag and programmatically, using route matchers, route layouts, layout groups, breaking out of layouts, working with other files consumed by routes, and finally, how to define API routes to handle get, post, patch, and delete requests. If you're enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.